So interesting note, while I was messing with the mic settings, you know, I was going around here in the um, waterfall area and I actually found a place that I didn't even know existed. I mean, I knew it existed, but I didn't know where, uh, which is the Temi village. So I'm going to go check it out. <clears throat> we should check it out. Who knows what the hell we might need from there. So here it is down here. I don't know why. I could have swore I tried to go down here last night, but here we go. And I've never, I didn't talk to anybody, so I don't actually know what this place is like. But I sure as hell wish I would have had it. <laughs> Boy, welcome to Tem Village. I wish I would have known this before I fought Dine. Wouldn't have ripped off my bandage, but oh well. What are you going to do? Boy, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Oh, Lord. Boy, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Oh, God. Boy, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. <laughs> of course. Now, see, that's actually a funny joke. Rich history of Tim. Boy, you should check out Tim's shop. Use the box? No, but I really could have used the damn box earlier. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I agrees. Should check Tim's shop. Ah, wah, 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 wah. What the hell? Humans, such a cute. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. I have no idea what the hell this is all about. It's hard boiled. Tim hurt human allergics to Tim. That okay. Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. Oh no, she's breaking out in hives? Or is it he? I don't know. Well, hoives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my hyphae. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. Statue of Tim. Very famous. Very. Clearly. Feeling of being watched. You think? Boy, welcome to... The Tim Shop. Tim pay for college a thousand? Uh, I don't have it. College Tim pursue higher education. Okay, so we'll have to come back to help somebody go to college. Tim Flake, expensive. Heals two f HP, food of Tim, expensive. Yeah, it is. Tim Flake on sale. Heals two HP, discount food of Tim. Okay, Tim Flake heals two. Why would I? I mean, I guess the support. Buy for one. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Maybe we'll need it. That's the only reason why I would buy it. Yeah, this makes no sense. They all see... What? Okay. 
Can I sell? Oh, that's right. I can sell her stuff. Let's see. Can I sell, sell the old tutu? Whoa. You got a old tutus? Hmm. I gotta have that old tutus, but I gotta pay for college. Hmm. Can't always want it. Old tutus. Can buy old tutus for 81 gold. Yeah. Let's see. Ball shoes. Can buy ball shoes for 80 gold. Okay, let's talk. Hi, I'm Timmy. Say, so, boy, I'm Timmy. All right. How about ours? Tell me about yourself. Boy, I'm Timmy. <laughs> How about the history? Us Tams have a deep history. Okay. How about the shop? Yeah, yeah. Go to Tim shop. Okay. Let me see if I can get some more. Let me see if I. Damn, I shouldn't have dropped all my weapons, dude. I could, I don't. I could help her pay for college. Cause the tough, tough glove and the faded ribbon. Ten buy tough glove fifty grand. All right, go for it. Or no, yeah. All right, and the ribbon. Sweet. Use the box? Oh yeah. The knife and the manly bandana. Alright, Hunter. And the mandana. Alright. And I guess we'll give her the stick since we already freed the dogs. I don't think, are there any other dog, um, I don't think there are any dog creatures after this level, so. Okay, so now all we need is a couple thousand, then we can buy it for college. You don't have demons. <laughs> Boy. Alright. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Yeah, if you want to call that determination. Feeling of being watched. Yeah, you ain't lying. I'm sure there's a reference somewhere that I just don't understand. <laughs> you know. I'm sure there is. Now, I wish I could do 60, but for whatever reason... It appears that 60 is just a bit too much. Ring, ring. Once you get familiar with this room, you don't even need to light up the mushrooms. I mean, the path to Temi Village is never lit up here. But why would you want to go there? Field of echo flowers. They babble back and forth to each other until their words become meaningless noise. Creepy, huh? You want it creepy, huh? Try a care for a ride? Yes. Where we go today? All right. Well, we got to go to Snowden because she told us to go check, go find her. So we'll go to Snowden first. <clears throat> Tra la la, Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Yeah, now you tell me. I'm telling you, I 
I could I am fairly confident that we tried to go back in there and didn't work. But whatever. Come again sometime. Tra la la. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. <laughs> hey, punk. What's up? A chew. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Papyrus, why don't you live in an icy wasteland? Why do you live in an icy wasteland? The rent's cheap. Hey, you're not lying about that. Really? Don't you live in a huge house? Yeah, but my brother pays for it. Where's your brother get the money to pay for it? Oh, that's simple. It's a mystery. He really is clueless. Let's see if that alters anything else. Uh, it doesn't appear to. Okay, so. Time for. I think we can go ahead and say our last. Not our last, but the next run, which will definitely be interesting for sure. We're, c we're considering paying a visit to the doctor. No, not the vet. Well, maybe she's a little like a vet. She hasn't been ro responding to our letters. Maybe it's because we let Doggo write them all. He may not look like it, but this big guy writes the most eloquent letters. Here, take a look. It's just the word bark, but in flowery cursive. doesn't change. Did I catch anyone yet? I can't bear to look. Grilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Ah, uh, same old. Come on, everybody. L -l -l Let's party. Anyone? To a human, monster food would be very interesting. As soon as you eat it, it converts perfectly into energy. That makes me wonder, how do humans do it? Eat during battle? What will happen to grill bees if anyone move, everyone moves in? We're gonna have to have chairs at the ceiling. <clears throat> Alright. Huh? Yes, I'm taking my bunny for a walk. It's a very slow one. Hmm, adjusting the presence is my responsibility. Nah, to be honest, I just keep looking to see if I've gotten one. That lady over there has been going for a walk for a while now, but she hasn't moved an inch from where she's standing. But, well, I haven't either, but I don't want her to notice me over here. Uh, it looks like stuff has changed since last time. It didn't change before, like nobody ever cared. Which makes me wonder, is that room any different? Maybe, but probably not. But we'll, we'll go check anyway. Oh, hey, this is new. We all live in the woods, so no one can tell us what to do. But now everyone ignores us. I don't want freedom if it means no one's going to pay attention to me. This is new. I've heard there's a local tradition based off of my own suffering. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's rough. It 
the door. Now, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Might have to stay there for a minute. I don't know. Must be bigger on the inside. That's interesting, because it, it didn't change at all. I remember when... Um, so this makes me think, you, or at least wonder, can you go back to the ruins, you know? But I don't know if you can. Torio don't answer the phone. Yeah, nobody picks up. Does this guy see anything new? You don't know what to do here in Snowden. Grilby's is food, and the library is information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. Yeah, no, it's the same stuff. Yeah. Alright, we're done. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get some supplies. Wait a minute. She paid more for the glove than I... I'm pretty sure... Did, 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 did they not buy the glove for more money than I paid for? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. I think they paid like... <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna review the tape. When we're done with this stream, I'm gonna review the footage because... I mean, not tape. I'm fairly confident that... Um... We got the same... That, that they paid more money. Let's see, Temi Flakes, which is absolutely worthless. Crab apple. Heels 18. Uh, let's try to make it through because we're going to go to Hotland, right? And then if we have trouble, we'll go ahead and... um. What if I ran from air? I don't think I would do a good job. And I hate responsibility. But I love politics. So I might be a perfect match. Wait, I've got a joke. Knock, knock. Uh, that's all I've got of. Maybe I'll try frowning for once. No, I just can't do it. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. We have someone working on it. That look in your eye. You think Sudoku is just mo moderately challenging, don't you? Yes, I illustrate all of the comics myself. Yes, I give everyone huge, beautiful eyes and giant muscles. <laughs> There's a day I just don't want to work. It's called Today. Hey, I'm with her on that one. Okay, I was wondering if maybe the books changed. I think that uh, that's everybody, isn't it? Hello, that's not my house. That's just my cool tool, tool shed. You call it your cool shed? No, I've never thought of that. That's why we're friends, Undyne. You enrich my life with shed-based puns. That's the only one I've ever made, dude. You should learn a privacy. Oh, man. I'm curious just to see if anything 
changes in this area. We, you know, this, this is an echo flower. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's hang out again sometime. All right, so he's, that's all just the same. I should make a note to cut all this out. Continue play monsters and humans. Can we please play something else? You like to wander. You must be young. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Same thing. Alright. be a way to talk to that guy, but maybe not. Care for a ride? Yes. Where will we go today? Let's go to Hotland. And we're off. We are indeed off. Oh, hmm. I should have worn a few more pairs of pants today. Now, it was interesting that this guy actually said it was Saturday when it was actually Saturday in real life. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. Or tra-la-la. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. It's you? It's too dark to see the near the walls. I was to say, didn't they stop us before? Oh, my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um, <laughs> hiya, I'm Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but, but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> Uh, yeah. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. <laughs> hmm? Did you hear something? Oh, no. Oh, 
Yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Metaton attacks. Cry. <laughs> Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, mercy. <laughs> you, uh, you wish wrong. The show continues. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Fuzzy pushover Dr. French Asgore Dreamer. Correct, what a terrific answer. Quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? Quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and B, simultaneously depart station A and station B, station A, station B are 252.5 miles apart from each other. Train A is moving at 124 points per hour towards station B and train B. Oh shit. Uh, let's go here. D. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. <laughs> Pure guess. Streaming is against the rules. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Oh my. Uh, let's try 52. Completely utterly wrong. Quiz show continues. Uh, let me grab a temp flake. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Frog it. Boy, that's embarrassing, huh? Wait, what? The show, quiz show continues. Screams against the rules. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? I guess they're all heck yeah. Great answer. I love it. Quiz show continues. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Uh, oh, great. No, no, no. Can't you read? Screams against the rules. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, oh, I know this one. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alfie's, Alfie's, Alfie's. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask you a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Al Dr. Alfie's have a crush on? I think Undyne. See, Alfie's, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show is no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something.
Yeah, no kidding. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait. Let me give you my f phone number. But then, m maybe, if you need help, I could... What? Where do you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. But oh, wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Feel this fr the fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Yes. It's a beat up figurine with a, of a female human with cat ears. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes are something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game or a garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a video feed of your location. Right. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. It's a bathroom sign. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Yeah, no, I can see that. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHS's and DVD's of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You, you look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. I don't know. Could be accurate in some places. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Pink goop drips from this machine, strange machine. Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. <sighs> I like the poster on her wall. The wardrobe's full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Why is there, oh, it makes no sense. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. This is so ridiculous. Alright, I need some HP. for probably one of the better parts and also one of the most annoying parts of the game. Alfie's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Alfie's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. 
Oh, great. Here we go. Ooh, we have another box. If that's the case, I would have bought more items. Neither of us know anything about Hotland, so we'll just have to combine our power. Zero plus zero is still zero. Yeah, but it's a big zero. Yeah, that's right, big zero. Alfie's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Vulcan strolls in. Let's criticize. You tell Vulcan that its attacks are not helpful. Uh, not helping? Okay. Vulcan stands in the corner. Hug. You give Vulcan a hug, it warms your heart. And your whole body, ouch, your defense dropped. Ah, so lovey. Vulcan's cheeks glow with a bright heat. Alfie's updated says, gonna call them in a minute. Here we go again, where she's blowing up my phone. It's like almost, it's almost as if like, he's not willing to let us play, you know, I guess like kind of punish us for the, um, let's see, the whooshing sound of steam and cogs, it fills you with determination. 